In today's vlog, we will be learning about how to create a simple web banner in the Adobe Animate CC software. In order to create a web banner, do make sure you prepare the item in the beforehand as in for the pictures, font and text like this. I have already made sure that I have prepared all those pictures, font, everything in this PNG format. Now go for file and go for the option create new. In order to create a web banner, you defaultly have this option called web. Towards the top in the new document, you will have an option called web and there are many default size if it is for a laptop or for an iPad or for a mobile phone. I'm going for the clarity low and the width should be 970 and the height should be 250. So make sure the width and height are in 970, 250 and the platform is HTML and just go for the option create. So this is how your background for the web banner is going to look like. So generally a web banner is nothing but which you could definitely see it in the website or maybe yeah, in the Google platform towards the top in order to create a simple advertisement. So now I'm going for file import import to library and I'm going to import all the pictures which I have prepared in the beforehand. So towards the right side you can see all those pictures are converted into the library directly and everything is in PNG format. So in my layer one I'm just going to bring the background and this picture is going to act as my background. And when you search for the background in Google, make sure the background width and height is in 970 and 250. As for this picture, it is not in 970 and 250 as in random day I have bought a particular background over here. But make sure the background is in 970 and 250 so that it may fit perfectly for your background thing. So as you can see, I'm just adjusting my background towards my stage. So background is 10. Once you're done with the background, I'm just going for my another new layer. And this particular layer is going to act as an text. So I'm just giving text one because further layers I'm going to create two or more text. So I'm just giving text one for my reference. And here I'm giving the name as Domino's. Whatever pizza name you want, you can give it accordingly. Or you can also create a web banner for an uh, airlines or for a vehicle. Or it may be for a food service. It can be for either thing. And I'm going for the option control B. I'm going to break my alphabets apart and I'm going for modify timeline and distribute to layers. So I'm here I'm going to work on with the text animation. So in order to create my text animation, I have to click each and every word separately and go for modify convert to symbol and convert it into movie clip. So I'm just going to repeat the same process till O. If you are not aware with this particular text animation, you can refer to the previous vlogs. I would have created it separately. So I am just going for convert to symbol, movie club and I am repeating the same process for all the alphabets separately. So we are in the final number O. So I am repeating the same process, modify, convert to symbol and move a clip and just give an OK. So we are done with everything. So here as you can see each and every alphabet is converted into a movie clip. Now in order to perform a text animation, I am going for timeline 5 and I am going for the option called insert keyframe. So towards 0 timeline, I am highlighting everything with the help of the option called shift. And let me click the alphabet again. And towards the properties, you will have an option called color effect. Under color effect, we have an option called alpha. So I'm just going to reduce the alpha to zero or maybe four. And towards five, I just want my alphabet to appear stronger. So as for the background, I'm choosing this particular timeline. I'm going for insert keyframe at 30. So if you're not aware about the glow and alpha effect, do refer to the previous videos, which I have created for text animation separately. So this effect is nothing but glow and alpha effect and I'm increasing the alpha towards a bit. And now at 0 to 5 it will be like this. 
at 10. I am giving insert keyframe again. And I am highlighting at timeline 10 with the help of shift and I am highlighting the alphabet again. And I am increasing the alpha towards 100 percentage and also we have another option called filter. So under filter I am just going to go for two options called drop shadow and glue. As for the shadow I am going to use white color. And I am going for another option called glow. As for the glow, I am just going for kind of green and orange combination. So the glow color will be kind of lemon green. So I am done with the text part. From 0 to 5 and from 5 to 10, it is going to look like this. So in between, just highlight everything with shift and go for the option called motion twin. Kindly do refer to the previous videos if you are not aware about the alpha glow filters option. So I am going for the option called create motion tweet. And now I am bringing the text layer inside because I have given my text layer towards 30. So I am just giving the timeline to maybe 15 or 20. And I am removing the extra frames like this to highlight it, right click and you can just remove the frames wherever you want. So this is how the general text is going to look. This will be the part 1 animation for web banner. You can include whatever animations you want or whatever animation techniques you wish. And now I am just going for a new layer. And under this layer. I am going to create another animation part where I am going to use alpha glow effect. So I just want this particular animation to start from 10. So I am holding my timeline 0 and I am going to push my timeline 0 to timeline 15. Just highlight it and push it towards timeline 10. And here I am just going to create a normal text. The word will be slice. So as you can see I have created another text slice. You can either rename it as slice or you can just rename it as text 2 for your reference. And I am bringing it towards a bit in order to adjust it for the frame dominoes and slice. And now as you can see I am dragging it towards 10 because I just want my timeline to start from 10 for the word slice. So from 0 to 10 it will be like this. From 10 I am going to prepare another animation for the text slice. Do click it and go for modify convert to symbol and I am going for the option called movie club. And let me click the alphabet again and I am going for the option called color effect. Under color effect I am going for the option alpha. I am repeating the same process with the help of filters glow and drop shadow. Because I want to alphabet to look similar. So we are done with this particular part. I am making sure that all my backgrounds and other sub layers are at timeline 15 so that the previous layers will be also visible till timeline 15. And now I am just going to create another layer. Let me rename it as text 2. For my reference and I am going for another layer. In this particular layer I am going to bring an image of pizza slice over here. So I am giving a slice 1. And as you can see I want this animation to start at 10. So I am dragging it towards here. Even if you want you can delete it or you can just leave it off like this from 0 to 10. At 10 I am going for my library and I already have the pizza slice over here. 
I am bringing the slice towards in part and I am with the help of free transform tool I am just going to place it towards the top of the alphabet slice. So now with the help of motion tween option I am just going to move the slice towards the bed to from left to right side. This technique I am applying over here will be the motion tween option. If you are not aware with this particular technique you can refer to the previous vlogs where I have thought about the car animation where the technique is similar to the same thing what I am applying over here. So as you can see when the slice is going to move from left to right I just want my alphabet to be disappeared and appeared at the end. So I am going for the option called alpha and let me reduce it towards zero. And I am moving it accordingly with the help of my timeline. And I am going for the same thing called alpha and I am just increasing the alpha number towards a bit like this. So I am just going to repeat the same process towards 15. So at 15 it will be highlighted with the strong layer like this okay so as you can see this is how the animation will be performed for dominoes and slides i have applied two text layers over here either if you want you can drag it like this so that the alphabet will move slowly if not it is up to you you can just leave it off i'm just dragging it towards a bit so that the alphabet will move slowly little bit till the timeline is going to be dragged for my web banner so now I'm highlighting all my layers and making sure everything is in timeline 24. Once you are completed with all your animation purposes, kindly do make sure all your timelines are at equal frame so that it will look clear only for especially for the web banner. So this is how the animation is going to look from 0 to 24 and now I am going for new layer and let me show you one more technique this technique is where I taught you about the car animation moving car animation so I am just going to apply the same technique for the web banner so this particular timeline will start from 24 so at 24 I am going for my library and I am just going to drag this particular slice where I have already created in the beforehand and I am just going to bring it inside like this. And now as you can see I have this particular option slice 2 at my layer 11 where this will act as my car animation and I am giving classic tween in between. So at 24 it will be at the beginning at 45 it is going to be at the end with the help of the option called classic tween. So let me show you how to attach and wheel to it. In order to attach a wheel just go for another new layer and you can name it as wheel left wheel and right wheel or wheel 1 and wheel 2 accordingly. And here as you can see in order to apply a wheel I am going to remove this particular frames and I am dragging it towards 24 and I am removing the extra frames towards here. And now click on to the timeline 24 and make sure you bring this wheel inside at 24. So with the help of free transform I am just going to minimize it towards a bit and I am going to bring it towards the inner layer part where I have created the little pizza slice. Now as you can see with the help of motion tween option I am highlighting my wheel along with my layer 11 where I have created a slice in order to adjust the wheel properly.
In order to apply this particular wheel animation, you can just refer to the previous techniques where I have created the car animation. I am just showing you the process for a glance. So now as you can see, this is how the web banner is going to look like in the HTML canvas. So this is how the entire web banner will look when you do create with sub techniques. You can also create a technique with the onion skin or with the text animation or with the alpha glow or whatever box cycles you have. You can combine everything together and you can create a simple web banner like this. But make sure your web banner is going to be created in an HTML canvas page.